welcome to The Royce. I am Grace Michere and this week we have a special edition. This is where we look at two schools in one episode just to see, compare and contrast how our young people all over the nation usually conduct themselves during their services and when the word of God is being preached. And this week we are looking at Vanessa Grant Girls School and Nyeri Baptist School. We want to see the special talents that these students have to offer and then we are going to go into their service and see see how attentive they are, how seriously it is that they take the word of God. We are going to start first of all with Vanessa Grant Girls School and let us see the special talents that these girls have to offer. Wow, that is so great. What do you think? Are our girls talented? Tell us in the comments on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram at Royce for Christ. And we will be sure to read your comment in the next show. Now let us see the special talents that Nyeri Baptist High School have to offer. Sunda will 
that is very great. Now you can see that our students are really talented. Tell us what you think in the comments on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram at Royce for Christ. And we will surely be reading your comments in the next show. Now we want to enter into the service and we want to see uh, the praise and the worship for Vanessa Grant Girls School first of all. We want to see how it is that they praise God. We are now looking at the word of God. We want to see the level of attentiveness that these students have whenever the word of God is being released to them and ministered to them. We are going to start with Vanessa Grant Girls School. Then we are going to look at Nyeri Baptist High School. The power of God had come over Mary, and God had put a seed in Mary's womb. And God wanted that seed to be taken, that is the seed of, of a child, to be taken care of until it, bring, it is brought forth so that it can manifest into the power of God. So I was looking at it this way. As in our time, each one of us, kuna kitu mtu wa mungu wa meweka ndani ya kila moja wetu. That is, there is a seed of greatness. There is a talent in your life. And this talent that God puts in each one of us is that finally, it will manifest and glorify God, just as Jesus did. When Jesus was born, we know the life and the work that Jesus did. So what is that talent that God has put in you? 
Whatever God has put in you, it's because he wants it to be taken care of until the time it will manifest. For the glory of God. I remember when we were in high school. I was in a national school, I remember. And therefore we used to have people coming from all over Kenya. And definitely in a, in a national school, you expect there are people who come from very well-up families, I remember. But myself and many others, we came from a very humble background. You find that even having kiwi to brush your shoes, you don't have. Even, even maybe to, uh, to, the, to the pace, it requires shida. Lakini kuna wale, unaona maybe they are coming, they have everything. They are being driven in school with everything. But I remember because I remember I gave my life to Christ when I was very young in high school, Form 1, when I entered Form 1. I could just, at times when it was visiting day, had to now expect to be visited by anyone. And therefore, what were we doing? We could just go to the field up there and just seek God and just pray and telling God, God, I know one day, I know one day you manifest me. I know I, I am not here for long. This will not continue in my life. And therefore, we could just close ourselves from what is happening in the field because we knew we didn't have much. But I want to thank God because of following Christ, because of... Uh, Hearing what God is telling me at every stage of my life, today, I don't think I am the way I was those days. The God who hears. Have you noticed even in the Bible that God, our God, usually makes fun of those, those other gods or those other things people worship that have ears but do not hear, that have eyes but cannot see. He makes fun of them. He says, why would you worship something that has ears but cannot hear? In Isaiah and Jeremiah, you find that because he is the God who hears. You can't make fun of someone if you have the same problem. It's very difficult. So if our God couldn't hear, he wouldn't be uh, ridiculing those other things or those other gods that cannot hear. It is the Lord. Why should we talk to God and listen to him? Because it is the Lord who can lead you in the right path to take for your life according to his holy ordinance before you were born. When he was making your soul, when he was thinking of making you, he was like, I can see this world needs this. So I'm going to make Beth, or I'm going to make John, so that you can come and fill this gap in the world. And then he made you. So there's something you're created to do. If I look at Genesis, only God can make you anything. Genesis 12, 2. Abraham aliambiwa tena God, I will make you a great nation. Mark 1, 17. Jesus said to them, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Look at Matthew 25, 21. This faithful servant, mwenyalitoa talents na the master, akazi multiply. What did the master say? I will make you ruler over many things. And this one is the representative of God, this master. Deuteronomy 28, 13, in Asema, we usually say, I am the head and not the tail. Let's see. And the Lord will make you the head and not the tail. Uh, you shall be above only and not beneath if you heed the commandments of the Lord your God. So it is God who makes you the head and not the tail. Allow God to make you. And God has given us something called free will. He cannot force you to do anything. So choose to allow God to make you that which he created you to be. And even our brothers and sisters, tell us what you think about these young people and how they conduct themselves during the service. Uh, tell us in the comments on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram at Royce for Christ. I will also put a number here with the one that is appearing on your screen. Tell us 
in the comments, send us an SMS during this short break, as we go on a break, to give you a chance to tell us what you think right here at the Roy's. So we are going on a very short break. There's much more coming up from Vanessa Grand Girls School and Nyeri Baptist High School. Let me see you after the break.